hey guys and welcome back to our channel today we're going to talk to you about eight things you should know before getting a belgian shepherd specifically the tervuren but i think many of those things can be applied to the other varieties of the belgian shepherd like the malinois or the grain and dal and at, at the end of the video, we have a bonus tip for you, something that we wish we'd done differently when Rancho was a puppy. So please stick around till the end. So first of all, it's important to know that like with many other breeds, you can get a working line or a show line Belgian Shepherd. However, the difference between the lines isn't as huge as it is between, for instance, the American show line German Shepherd and a working line German Shepherd. Generally, the appearance of the Belgian Shepherd hasn't changed much from what they originally looked like. A show line Belgian Shepherd can still do well in sports, such as herding, agility, or even IPO. But if your goal is to compete at the highest level in protection sports, a working line will be a better choice for you. Working lines have a higher drive and are more powerful than show lines. They're also said to be healthier and less shy or fearful. Okay, I'll show you some examples of the differences between show line and working line Belgians. But whether you want to get a show line or a working line Belgian Shepherd, you should know that these dogs aren't for everyone. And I'll explain why. So, not only do they need a lot of exercise, but they also need a job to do. So if you just take your Belgian for an hour long walk, they're gonna go to sleep for two hours and then they'll be ready to go again. That's why you need to wear them out mentally as well. You can do all the different dog sports with them, such as agility, dog dancing, schutzhund, obedience, herding, canny cross bike drawing, or you can just teach your Belgian tricks at home. It doesn't matter what you choose to do with your dog, but they need some mental stimulation. And if you don't give it to them, they'll find a job themselves, and trust me, you're not gonna like it. Rancho is a show line dog, but compared to most other dogs we meet, his energy level is still like two to three times higher. So, um, and when we're on a walk, he still requires a lot of attention. He'll, he'll usually give you some time off during the first half of the walk, but the moment we turn around or the moment he gets bored of sniffing and running around, he grabs a stick and he starts poking you with it, making it hard for you to walk and he just demands attention. He, he needs that contact with you and he wants you to give him commands and play with him. So it's not an easy dog to, to own. And even though it can be pretty annoying, then you look at his happy face and that will completely disarm you. And one little fun fact, Belgians love looking you in the eye. So be prepared to be watched constantly. It's like they're always trying to figure out what's in your mind. I guess it's also connected to the fact that they love to work. And I think they're always waiting for you to give them commands. But I also need to add one thing here, and it's that they, they rarely show you that they're tired. So as long as something fun is happening, they will never show you they're tired. And it's your responsibility to be wiser and make them stop before they drop dead. <laughs> Uh, number three. Another important thing is that you should start socialization early, preferably the moment your puppy gets home. Belgians can become shy, fearful, distrustful towards strangers, or even aggressive or snappy if not socialized properly. So expose your pup to as many people, sounds, smells, objects, and situations as possible. You can start socializing your puppy before they are fully vaccinated. You can invite visitors to your home. You can take your dog to a friend's house and you can expose your pup to regular household activities like the vacuum, TV and blow dryer. And when they're fully vaccinated, you'll need to step it up and expose the pup even more. And if you socialize your dog properly, they should grow into a balanced dog. Of course, genetics play a role too, and some individuals may be more shy than others by nature. That's why finding a reputable breeder is important. But sometimes even a good breeder will produce a more timid individual. 
even though they selectively breed for certain traits, sometimes Mother Nature has a different plan. The next thing that you should know is that these dogs will never be like golden retrievers, and even a very well socialized dog may still be reserved with strangers. And that's just the way they are. They're super attached to, to their family, and they would do anything for them, but they don't necessarily enjoy cuddling with strangers. Again, I can give you an example from our life. Rancho likes to go and say hi to people we meet, but he definitely doesn't enjoy being hugged or held by them. So next, they're very easily excited. Maybe if you have a calm dog that reacts to a sudden noise by just turning their head slightly, a Belgian Shepherd will usually jump up in the air. I think this has got to do with the fact that they're always ready to do something. And also, as one of our subscribers put it, the happier and more excited they are, the more you get bitten. And this is absolutely true. Of course, you can teach your dog not to do that, but quite honestly, it's one of the things I most love about them. It's just something that always makes us laugh and it's so natural to him and his face always glows with happiness when he does that. Another thing is that they often act before they think and this may result in injury, so having a good health insurance is a good idea. I can't tell you how many times Rancho scared us to death by doing something stupid. He has a thing for jumping over walls even when he doesn't know what's behind them, or when he's running with me off leash, he keeps looking at me and not watching where he's going, and he often hits a tree at a high speed. Uh, or once he decided that he wanted to climb a ladder to get to me. And of course he couldn't and he fell off. So you need to be constantly watching them and anticipating what amazing idea they could come up with. Number seven, when they're not trying to kill themselves, they are super smart and eager to learn. They're easy to train and they have a great work ethic but they're also very sensitive and they don't respond well to harsh training methods. They need a handler who is strict but kind. Another thing is that they have a high prey drive and they need extensive training and also a physical outlet for their boundless energy. When Rancho was one year old, he suddenly started chasing cars, tractors and wild animals. And back then we thought he had good recall but we were wrong and we had to work even more on his obedience to be able to let him run off leash again. Number eight, usually they are slow to mature. They're very playful and they stay puppies for a long time. I've noticed that only now that Rancho is four years old, he doesn't want to play with adult, unneutered males as much as he did before. So until he was about three and a half, he would always instigate play immediately after meeting any dog. So I guess he has now finally fully grown up. And here is our bonus tip. The one thing that we neglected at the beginning was getting Rancho used to being alone. If I had a puppy now, I would definitely make it a priority to teach him to be alone. We should have started doing that from day one. We did try to teach him to be alone, but I think we just didn't have enough experience and didn't know how important that was. And as a result, the whole thing was just very sloppy and Rancho never liked being left alone. And these dogs are extremely attached to their owners and they may get separation anxiety when left alone. Rancho would howl every time we left and we didn't even know about that because he always started like five minutes after we left and he would howl for about 30 minutes. <clears throat> so every time we got back home, he looked sleepy and we thought everything was fine, but he probably just howled himself to sleep. And because we live in an apartment building, eventually, after six long months, the neighbors complained and we had to basically start teaching him to be alone from scratch, just like a puppy starting with a few seconds and gradually building that up. So if you have a little puppy, start teaching your dog to be alone from the very beginning so that you don't have to deal with these issues later in life because it was very stressful for all of us. All right, so these are all the things that we wanted you to know before you get a Belgian Shepherd. Um, if you have any more questions or any more tips, 
please leave them down below in the comments and give us a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't turn on your notifications and we will see you in our next video thanks for watching